Hello everyone, Pinna Productions here. Today I'm going to be updating my previous tutorial on how to stream live to Twitch from the Twitch app for Android and iOS. So let's get started. To start off with this tutorial, you will want to go and download the Twitch app, obviously, which involves going to your app store of choice. I've got the Google Play Store or the App Store on iOS, and you're going to want to download the Twitch app by simply searching for Twitch and downloading the official Twitch live stream app. And so you want to download this. I've got the option to open, but if you haven't downloaded it, it will say download. It's a free app, so you just download that. And then you go into the Twitch app. Once you've signed in, you're going to press up here where you'll see your little channel icon in the top right corner. And then that will take you to your channel. And if you're using this on a phone, I don't think this works on tablets. But if you do use this on a phone, you're going to get the option to go live press there and then you have the option to name your stream so I'm just going to name this test and then you have the option to give it a category so I'm good, just going to call this one just chatting and essentially this allows you to use your phone's camera to stream live to Twitch from your mobile device whether that be on the Wi-Fi or if that is on mobile data so if you then press at the bottom, start stream, the little purple button, you'll get a prompt to rotate your device sideways into landscape because that is the format that video is on, on Twitch. And then it will begin streaming. You can see down here we have zero viewers. You can see here on the right hand side is the chat. If you press the little three dots here, you have the option to mute your microphone, hide the chat or lock your screen. And then you also have the option to switch the cameras. Hello. And then you can switch back to the back camera as well. And I will just give you a little clip from the VOD of this stream over the video. So you can see here are my minifigure displays. And this is just a show of the quality of Twitch streams from the mobile app so that you can see what it's like. And so upon your return to your channel, after you finish streaming, you can go down and see in the past broadcast section if you have enabled the saving of your streams. You can see my tutorial on that in the top right corner. Then you can go back and watch your stream and do all the other things that you can do, sharing it and all the other stuff. So I do hope that this tutorial was useful for anyone who does want to stream from their phone. Now I just want to respond to a couple of the comments that I saw recurring in the last tutorial. The first of which is if you get a message saying network error that means that your Wi-Fi or data connection isn't strong enough for streaming and that you need to stream at a time that is suitable for streaming when your internet connection is stronger or it just means that you can't stream using this app because your connection is too slow and it won't produce a good enough quality. Streaming does require a high bandwidth on your internet, so it's good to check your internet speeds to make sure that it is fast enough to stream a video online in real time. Another thing is that you can't do screen recording with this app, so it means you can't record gameplay and stream that. You'll have to use a third-party app to do that. There are many available. A quick Google search can show you many of those. And if you do want me to do a tutorial on one of those apps, do leave a comment down below. But anyway, once again, I do hope this video was helpful and informative to anybody who does want to stream on Twitch in 2019, and I will see you next time. Bye.